بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی ول کنٹینیو ٹو ایکسپلور دا ٹاپک امپلیمنٹ ٹائم انٹیلیجنس میجرس دا نیکسٹ سیٹ آف ٹائم انٹیلیجنس فنکشنز آر ویری سملر اینڈ دیز آر دا ڈیٹس وائی ٹی ڈی ڈیٹس ایم ٹی ڈی اینڈ ڈیٹس کیو ٹی ڈی فیملی اینڈ دیر از اے سملر فنکشن دیر از اے سملر سیٹ آف فنکشنز ٹوٹل وائی ٹی ڈی ٹوٹل ایم ٹی ڈی اینڈ ٹوٹل کیو ٹی ڈی سو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور دیز ٹائم انٹیلیجنس فنکشنز ان دس ویڈیو سو لیٹس ہیو اے لک ایٹ دا فرسٹ فنکشن ڈیٹس وائی ٹی ڈی ویئر دا ڈیفینیشن سیز دیٹ اٹ ریٹرن اے سیٹ آف ڈیٹس ان دا ایئر اپ ٹو دا لاسٹ ڈیٹ ویزیبل ان دا فلٹر کانٹیکٹ سو فرام دا ڈیٹس وائی ٹی ڈی فنکشن وی گیٹ اے سیٹ آف ڈیٹس سو وی اسپیسیفائی دا the syntax here in the form of a date column so this is the date column remember from the date table and then we have an optional parameter where we can specify the end date so what dates by dd does is that it brings out all the dates within that particular year which is available in the filter context and we are going to have a look at it in uh, a, in a bit of detail once we are using when once we see an example where we use this dates ytd function there are two counterparts to the dates ytd function dates mtd and dates qtd and the only difference is that in terms of the set of dates which are returned it is the dates mtd function is just focused focused on the month up to the last date visible in the filter context similarly the dates qtd function returns the set of set of dates in the quarter up to the last date visible in the filter context this is uh, the definition of the three functions that i just showed you now let's go to the power bi desktop environment and see how we can use these functions before actually going into the power bi desktop environment these are the three patterns that we are going to have a look and the focus for this particular video is this pattern so remember the, the topic is about time intelligence so we have time intelligence measures that we can create so the only requirement is to have a date table and then using that date table along with the time intelligence functions we can create certain patterns so the first pattern is performance to date which is a very common time intelligence pattern and this is the pattern formula which is used in almost all the calculations that you you would see related to the performance to date so we have a calculate function and inside the calculate function we specify the measure and then we have either of the three functions that we had a look right now which is dates ytd dates mtd or dates qtd and then we pass on the date which is the date of our calendar table so this is the pattern this is the pattern that we are going to explore right now and just keep this thing in mind that this is the pattern that we are uh, going to uh, explore right now and and there we are going to see what is the impact of using dates by td mtd and qtd so here i have created two measures that we are going to have a look at first i have created a table time intelligence function and inside that table i have created these two measures cost by td and quantity sold mtd so this is the measure costs ytd and this uses the pattern that we just saw so it has the calculate function then in the measure i am using my total cost measure and then i have my dates ytd table function which is the function that we are exploring and and i have passed the date for the, the date of the calendar the date column of the calendar table to this and this is computing the total cost that has been incurred year to date similarly if i select the other measure which uses the other dax function which is dates mtd here i am using computing the quantity sold month to date and the pattern is the same with the only difference here that instead of the total cost i am using the total quantity so the flexibility of this pattern is that i can put any measure here and then i can based upon my requirement i can put dates ytd mtd or dates qtd and this thing and this thing this calculate and the date part are common so now let's create a simple table and see what is the what what is what is this 
this measure actually computing both of these measures are actually computing and try to understand the code itself so here i have created a very simple table visualization which has the date column from the calendar table this is the date column and then i have pulled total cost and then i have pulled in the cost ytd that we just created so our date the first date in our scope is the 1st of january 1997 and the total cost for all the products sold the cost that was incurred for on all the products sold was 288.18 and this is the value that we get for cost ytd then on the 2nd of january 1997 the total cost incurred was 521 and the value here is 809 0.34 for the cost ytd so what is actually happening here is cost for the two days of january the first date and the second date these are being summed and this value is being computed then for the third day if i go for the third day i get this value which is nothing but the year to date cost that has been incurred so till 3rd january this is the sum of the cost that that is being shown here and so on and so forth and this process continues for the entire calendar year just the important bit to understand here is that this is going to happen till the 31st of december so here if i come so this is the date 31st of december 1997 and you can see that the cost here is 228112 but for the 1st of january 1998 now the value gets reset and we start from from the first date again so this happens for all the values till starting from the first of january till the 31st of december and then it the process repeats itself and for every year this is the pattern this is followed so this is called as the year to date pattern now let's look at the month to date pattern that and have a look at the other measure that we created now let's have a look at the other visualization so here we have the date the total quantity and the quantity sold mtd so here you can see that again we have the same kind of a pattern so for the first date we have the same value then for the second date it is basically the sum of the the first two values then for the third day it is the sum of the first three values and this is the pattern that is similar to the pattern that we saw for year to date but here the important thing to note is that the cutoff date for this one is the last date of the month so this process happens for all the dates till the last day of the month which is the 31st january and for the 1st of february you see that it starts from scratch and then the same pattern repeats itself similarly if we have qtd then this happens on a quarterly basis so this is called as the performance to date measure where performance could be any measure and to date means that any date that is in the filter context then and the and the scope is from the start of the month to the to that particular day similarly for if you are talking about the year it is the start of the year till till that particular date in the year so this is a very important pattern and these are the three functions that the three time intelligence functions that are used to compute this time intelligence pattern the other set of functions that we saw at the start of this video are the total ytd total qtd and total mtd functions so these functions are equivalent functions for dates ytd dates qtd and dates mtd but they are not exactly equivalent but they perform the same work that those functions do and if i scroll down on this page here here you can see that we have the pattern for total ytd and here is the pattern that we just saw for total ytd the only difference here is that this total ytd function works without the calculate function so everything else is the same here is the measure and here is the calendar uh, or the date table of the calendar of, of the date column of the calendar table that we pass and the rest of the stuff is exactly the same as we have for the dates ytd function or the pattern that is used that uses the dates ytd so now we are going to compute the same measures two measures that i computed using the dates ytd and dates mtd pattern i am going to use the total ytd and total mtd 
functions and see what is the difference in the results. So here I have created another measure and now I have created it using the total YTD and you can see that here the same measure total cost has been used and then the date column of the calendar table and if I just show you the results here inside the visualization you can see that there is absolutely no difference between these two measures. So this is the one which has been created using YTD and this has been created uh, this, sorry this has been created using dates YTD and this has been created using the total YTD and you can see that the result is absolutely the same. So these two patterns are exactly identical and you can use these patterns uh, interchangeably there is absolutely no difference between this. Similarly if I have a look at the other one which is the total MTD which we uh, created for the quantity we you can see that the same pattern is being used so here we have the total quantity measure same we have the date table date column of the calendar table and here is the total MTD and if I show you the visualization then these two func these two measures these two measures are absolutely identical this uses dates MTD and this uses total MTD and the values you can see all the values are absolutely the same so this is a very important time intelligence pattern and we have three set of functions that are that that can be used in one pattern and then we have three set of functions that can be used in another pattern but the overall result is going to be the same so that's all for this video and i'll catch up with you with more time intelligence measures in the next one